guys, this is Mike Milo, and I'm going to show you a pretty cool little function uh, in Storyboard Pro, and it's called Paste Layer Special, and um, the funny thing about it is that it's not even visible normally. You have to do a certain thing to make it even available. When it is available, it will allow you to copy one background panel and paste it across the rest of the scene. So let's just say that, you know, your director or your boss tells you, you know what, I'd really like to see a, I don't know, something in the background here for this panel. So, you know, I don't know, it's got to be like, a, you know, it doesn't feel enough like a bar, so we have to have like a beer sign here. So there. So now I add this tiny little thing, which is great. And of course, it's certainly better. But the problem is now that it's you've already drawn 15 panels here and there's are 13 technically. But uh, and it's only in one panel. Now you could just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. That's a pain in the ass. Let's not do that. Storyboard Pro has an easier way to pull this off. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So the way that you do this is you select the first layer that you want to duplicate on other panels. So you right click on that, copy selected layers. Then you go to the next one that you want to duplicate to. Now again, this one doesn't have it. This one does. I want it to be there. So I'm going to select the BG or I'm going to select the, the D layer, which is what this is on the new art is on and I'm going to select it and then I'm going to go down to the last one that I want to duplicate on and I'm going to uh, hold down shift and command or shift and control for a PC. Uh, so I'm going to hit it and I'm going to hold down while holding down shift and command I am going to hit the, uh, the layer down here and actually I should back up and I should say that you'll notice that the layers are also visible down here on the thumbnail view and uh, if you don't have the thumbnail view invoked you can select this plus sign scroll down to thumbnail and then now you can switch back and forth between thumbnail and timeline so going back to what I was initially gonna say I am going to select the first one I want to duplicate that new art onto. I'm going to scroll to the last one. And if you don't see that layer, you can scroll down by using these arrow keys. Remember, it's the D layer. So I'm going to hold down Shift, Command, and select the D layer. And then now you'll notice, if you take the time to look, that every single uh, panel has the D layer selected. So now it's pretty simple from here. You're almost done. So you're going to go up to layer and you're going to now suddenly see paste layer special is there. Never used to be there. It's only there when you do this mass cop or mass um, select uh, thing, function, whatever. Anyway, mm -hmm. so you're going to hit paste layer special and then you're going to change this. If it's not like this, you'll see that it can be like this. Uh, it, some, I think when you when this program ships, uh, it says once. I'm going to change it to once hold, and then I'm going to override existing layers with the same name so that I don't end up with multiple backgrounds that uh, on multiple layers. If I don't turn this on, I'm going to get a D1 on every layer in addition to the D. I want it to uh, replace. So I'm going to hit OK, and once I do that now, I am going to have the artwork on every single layer. Isn't that awesome? I gotta say, it's a really pretty, it's a really cool tool. Most people don't know about it unless you've been taught it. And uh, it's not easy to stumble across either because there's multiple things that you need to do in order to get that to work. So anyway, that said, that was Paste Layer Special. Again, my name is Mike Milo and uh, I'll be back. Thanks. Bye.